In this video, we will talk about how one can download, customize, install, as well activate a Microsoft Office and we will install it in Windows. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this video, we will try to make one of the simplest guide to install Microsoft Office such that anyone can install Microsoft Office with ease. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so now here you can see I am in my computer screen. The first thing here I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here on this browser, which is Microsoft Edge. Okay, the first thing here we need to type is Office Deployment Tool. And not to worry guys, I'm gonna provide you all the links in the description of this video so that you can follow us along step by step. Okay, so Office Deployment Tool is the tool that we need to customize our office. So let me actually uh, click here on download. And as I said, if you are facing any difficulty in following us along, just see the link of Office Deployment Tool available in comment down below. Now hit download. So as soon as you hit download, you will see that uh, we have downloaded this. Now click on open file and run it. If in case you cannot find where is office deployment tool, then I would suggest you in your keyboard, press Ctrl and J button. This will bring downloads, okay, like this. Or else you can also go here and then click on downloads. Now, if you are facing any difficulty, you can also click here on show in open folder and then here you can make double click on it. Now, after making double click, the prompt will appear and then you need to click on yes. After that, click here on this checkbox and then click on continue. Now, please follow us along. I do not want you to miss any step. So what I would suggest you to select desktop, okay? And then create a new folder here. And I'm gonna name it as, let's say OFC, okay? Now, let's click okay. Now click again, okay. Now what we need to do here is um, we need to minimize this and then we need to visit our desktop. If in case you do not find anything, make right click, view, show desktop icon. And there we go. So here we have the folder that we have created. Now open it. Now here you're gonna see the following. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete this configuration file. Okay. So select this file configuration.xml, make right click and click delete. Now the next thing here, what we need to do is we need to create a custom configuration file that will help us to customize our office setup. So for that, again, I'm going to open browser and then here, let's click on this plus button to open another tab. Now I'm going to type office customization tool. Now let's visit this site. And again, as usual, I would say I already have placed the link of this office customization tool in the description of this video. Now do the following select 64 bit, then go down from here, you need to select the office version that you would like to install. So for example, I would like to install the first one. And sometimes it really doesn't matter because what matter is what kind of license you have and then office later on adjusts itself based on your licensing configuration. So if I talk about office suit, you can choose anyone because eventually you're going to install the same office package. Now let's go down and here comes the customization part. And for just this particular feature, I wish if we would have this kind of feature directly integrated in office installer, but not to worry guys. Um, here we can customize it. So let's say I do not want access. I can uncheck it. I do not want OneDrive. I can uncheck it. I also do not want Teams. But after some time you realize that, oh, maybe I should actually enable Teams. So you can always, you know, toggle it off and on. Now, after you are satisfied, these are the apps that I would like to install. I'm going to click on next. Now here you need to select the language in which language you want to install office and then office support all these languages. 
So select the language in which you want your Microsoft Office to be installed. So I would like to go with let's say English and now here you also have option to select additional language. So if you click here on select additional language here you have option to select the next language and then further you do have these three options which is whether you would like to install additional language completely partial or just for spelling check so based on your need you can select it so i am okay with one language so i'm gonna click on next now here again you need to click next and then here the next option says whether you would like to uninstall the previous version of office so if you would like to you can keep it on or let's say you also would like to keep these old application then you can turn it off so it is completely up to you now let's click next here you will find licensing and activation information let's say you would like to accept license automatically and then you can see furthermore licensing activation information so i would like to keep licensing separate and then we can see how we can activate it at later stage now let's click next again next and finally wait is to finish now the next thing here what we need to do is we need to click on export now click on second option and then click ok now here accept terms and condition keep name as it is okay do not change the name keep it configuration and then click on export now here you may see this kind of error where it will say this xml file can harm you i do not know why this is the product of microsoft um still it say it like this it should not so i'm going to click on keep and then again we need to click on show in folder now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to cut this configuration.xml and then i'm going to go back to desktop and then here where we have kept our office deployment tool setup.exe here i'm going to paste it so till this point i hope that everybody is crystal clear what i did if you have got any doubt or question please feel free to ask me in description down below or this time i really wanted to make it as simple as possible i also hope that you might have followed me along as it is So now let's move on toward the next step. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Windows button and I will type CMD. Okay? And make sure we run it as administrator. Click yes. Now please make sure you repeat the same step. Go on the top. Make right click, copy. Now again open CMD. Now type here C D, okay, and then make right click on this title bar. Go to edit, and then click on paste. Now hit enter. You will be in the same directory as you are here on the top. Okay, so this is same here. So most of us make mistake here. So make sure that you are in same location. And we just saw how easy it is. Simply type C D space. and then copy this path paste it here and then you are good to go now there is only one single command that you need to copy and paste from the description now simply go in the description of this video and then select this line from here to here okay and then make right click copy and then again select the command bar by pressing left mouse button make a right click and then go to edit and then paste So a lot of us make mistake here. So make sure you have pasted it correctly and then make sure this name which is configuration.xml exactly match this name. So that's why I ask you to follow us along and I am pretty sure that you also have run the command prompt as administrator as you may also see another error, okay? So after pasting this all you need to do is hit enter and after hitting enter you will see the Microsoft installer will begin. and all now here you need to do is you need to relax and let microsoft installer do its business and then here by seeing this icon you will realize here are only those icon that i chose to install so here you can see six microsoft app that i decided to install now the process of installation may take few minutes to few hours that completely depend on the kind of hardware you have 
or what is your internet speed so let's say if you have got 200 mbps you're gonna see office installation will be completed in less than five minutes but let's say you are running internet through your mobile and you are getting like 10 to 20 mbps of download speed then it may take around half an hour to install so all you need to do here is to ignore the setup and resuming and keep on doing other work and finally here you can see we have successfully installed microsoft office in our system now let's click close let's also close this now i'm gonna also close this window and close all other window related to off installation as well now let's talk about activation let's go down here and click on this windows icon and now i'm going to type word and let's hit enter and here we can see we have opened microsoft word so let's say if you might have already installed microsoft office it will automatically pick your license and in that case you do not have to do anything and here also you can see it already picked my license but let's say this is not the one that you are looking for what we can do here is we can click on switch license and then click on sign in or create account now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna sign in through my id where i see my license exist and there we go so here i can see the following license i do have so all i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna choose which office i would like to install so i do have got these two options either i can go for 365 or office 2021 student as in starting i was mentioning it really doesn't matter which setup you download what matter most is what license you have so based on the license that i'm gonna select here i'm gonna see the product will update and accommodate itself so here the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select the license and then i'm gonna click on next so in this way guys we have successfully configured our microsoft office license and the good thing is that you only need to configure your license in any of the app whether it is word excel powerpoint remaining all the apps will automatically get synced and you are good to go and that's how guys we have successfully downloaded configured or customized activated and installed microsoft office in windows I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If you have got any doubt or any question in the entire process, please do let us know in comment down below. We will definitely try to help you out. Hope you enjoyed it. If yes, then make sure you like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such office related content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.